another video and guess what? It is Synthetic Saturdays. This is basically where I just review synthetic wigs. The synthetic hair that I got today was sent to me from a company called hairspells.com. So hairspells is an online hair store where you can buy synthetic hair and human hair and their synthetic hair is Y'all gonna see the synthetic hair that I got today. I'm super excited. But first, let me go ahead and put on this wig grip and this wig cap because I feel like these cornrows is real fuzzy. So, Hair Spells sends you the hair in this beautiful satin bag. This packaging, I think it's gorgeous and it's perfect for you to transport your wigs. But let's go ahead and pop this open. So it comes with a hair spells card where you get a coupon for your next order. You get some lashes cause girl, you know they love to send lashes. And here's the wig. Look at, I'm trying to, let me get back here. So y'all can see, look at this. Look at that. Like it's this beautiful lavender. The texture of it is super soft. It feels like a Brazilian hair. And there is, it's not super shiny and fake looking. This thing look big. So this is the inside of the wig. It is a lace frontal wig. It comes with three combs and adjustable straps at the back. And as you can see, here's the lace frontal. She's cute. I'm ready to go ahead and try her on. But okay. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful that I don't feel like I need to cut this wig. I do need to cut off this lace though. So this is the Lila Purple Synthetic Lace Front Wig in 24 inches and she is 55 Zolas. She got acupuncture going. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this wig on Jessica's head here, get her styled up and ready to go. And then we'll be back, okay? We're gonna start off by cutting off the lace on this wig. Um, it's a straight line sort of lace, so it's easy to cut off. And now we're gonna turn the wig inside out and tint the lace with the L'Oreal Root Touch Up just to make it match our skin tone. And I'm going to glue down the lace as well as cut baby hairs. You didn't see me cut the baby hairs, but I did. Just blow dry the Got To Be Glue gel just to get it sticky and then place the wig on your head. So I'm just wrapping it up and keeping it on my head for about 20 minutes or so. And taking it off. As you can see, I did cut the baby hairs in there. And now I see that the wig is a little bit long for me. It looks beautiful, but I think the length would look better if it was shorter. So I just chopped off the ends just to make it look a little bit more sassy. And that's it. What do y'all think? I love this so much more. So this is the final look. Let me actually show you what this looks like in the back because I I don't think it's even, but... But y'all tell me what you think. Did you like it longer or shorter? I do notice that the longer the hair is, the more it sheds. For now, there's like no shedding at all. And this is definitely one like an Instagram worthy sort of wig. And it's only like $50. It's a really good affordable price. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this review. I hope y'all enjoyed this video of this beautiful colored hair. Y'all know I'm getting into these pastels, honey. Y'all, uh, but yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think below. Did you like it long? Did you like it short? Do you like this wig? Would you wear this color? That's basically it. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.